Batman Caped Crusader uh, season 1 is out in full on Amazon Prime, new animated show about Batman. 10 episodes, 25 minutes each, created by Bruce Timm, the legend behind such stuff as the classic Batman animated series, and carrying some of its key strengths here uh, as well, despite the fact that it's a fresh start. So the story is essentially a kind of an alternate take, a reboot version of Batman. Uh, it takes place in the 1940s in a very art deco and gothic version of Gotham City, an element lifted fantastically from the original animated series. I mean, some of the backgrounds, the painted backgrounds, look exactly like they did in that show, and that's a, that's a plus. Uh, <clears throat> this Batman is just at the beginning of his career, to the point that a lot of Gotham citizens don't yet believe he exists. He's rougher, more brooding, and more alone than some of the other iterations, and he's trying to stop crime in Gotham City, crime which comes partly from the organized mafia, partly from some classic supervillains in new versions, and partly from supernatural elements. Two episodes contain stuff that are not very grounded. <coughs> so after the first two, three episodes, I was really loving the show, uh, mainly because of its aesthetics. It looks and sounds and feels absolutely fantastic, and I don't even mean any flashy, <coughs> obviously impressive animation, but more so the already mentioned painted backgrounds and imposing dark atmosphere of Gotham. Uh, I think a lot of Go Batman media uh, forget that the city is such an important piece of the story, almost the character itself, and I was very happy to see that realized here. I also liked the framing of the stories, um, having Batman be a side character in some of the episodes, maybe even most of them, like the investigation run by Montoya with Batman following in her footsteps and acting from the shadows. Uh, I think it helped ground the stories and make them more adult. Uh, a lot of the themes are about the different philosophies of fighting crime in Gotham, there's a lot of the conflict between Barbara Gordon and, and, and Commissioner Gordon, um, It's you know, there's stuff about whether the police is or can be effective, how the criminals are so embedded in the social structures that it seems impossible to get rid of them. But then. I have to admit, the longer the show went on, uh, the weaker it became. Uh, I think after a time it becomes, it does become a bit tiring that it is the Barbara Gordon and René Montoya and Harvey Dent show with Batman as a side character. I also didn't necessarily like how for a show that was meant to be serialized and definitely has some narrative stretched across the entire season, so much of it felt episodic. Uh, like pretty much all of the villains aside from Boss Thorn and Two-Face only appear in one episode and then are gone forever. Uh, I would have liked to see more of some of them uh, once they're introduced. I, I, you know, I didn't really mind some of the controversial changes. Penguin is a woman, Harley Quinn is Asian, the Gordons are black, but at the end of the day I also don't think these changes really mattered in the end or brought in some new interesting angle that you wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, voice acting is fine, although Hamish Linklater is not Kevin Conroy. Uh, he does a good job as Batman, but you know, Conroy's voice has been tied to the character for so long and in so many different pieces of media that I don't think I can ever fully accept anyone else. Also, the partly episodic nature of the show meant that some of the episodes are weaker than the rest. Uh, for me, particularly, the two supernatural ones are not very good. Um, in any case, though, this is, you know, it's it, it's still a fine new foray into Batman mythology that manages to use the fantastic um, stylistic elements of the original animated series, but offers kind of a fresh start for people who just now want to get into Batman. Um, for those especially, I, I think it's an okay entry point. Um, for existing fans, it really depends. If you're a super fan who likes everything Batman, you'll probably enjoy this. Um, but if you're more casual for others, you know, I, I do have to question whether it's really better than the original animated series or different enough. At the end of the day, I would probably say no, and I'd still prefer the old one in direct comparison.